Hey, what is up, guys? This is Gecko Guy here, coming at you with another Comments Weekly. Comments Weekly number 60. So, if you are new to the channel, Comments Weekly is something I like to do every weekend, preferably on a Friday. I know I missed it by a day. I'm sorry about that. There's just a lot going on. Um, this is the only way you can get a shout out for your channel. Just post a comment, um, anything really. Um, I'm looking for something inter interesting, comment, video suggestion, something along that line. Um, so, let's get right into it. Uh, Ethan Randy. Hey, um, I have a question. I have a bearded dragon. It's male. Would it be okay to put two males together? And also, would you put um, put in the weekly or monthly comment bid and tell me which one? And thanks for reading this. Um, and this is a general rule of thumb for just about every reptile and a lot of um, other animals as well, not necessarily reptiles. But uh, housing two males together is never a good idea, especially with reptiles. They are very they could get territorial and um, bully each other and probably kill one another. So you don't want to do that. And he said, thanks for the feedback. And I said, you're welcome. Um, Happy Gilmore says you should be a mammal guy. And I'm kind of leaning towards that way. Um, breeding stuff like sugar gliders, hedgehogs, hamsters... Um, those don't really require any heat. It's just a little bit of maintenance um, because once you take in consideration um, housing your reptiles and then mating them and electricity and incubation, is it really worth it in the end? It's like you'd barely break even. And uh, RC Johnny says, cool. So everybody go check out all these awesome people. Thanks for commenting, guys. And Dutch RC Raw says, cool update, man. Uh, thank you, Dutch RC uh, Raw. All right, Killer Mega Man Gaming. I also have a new job now, and I get to sleep in. I start at 11.30 a.m. to 3.30, four hours, so it's a new thing and good, and going good, man, and keep up the good work. I'm glad your move went okay. It sucked you sold your Xbox One, but I understand it. And uh, thank you very much, Killer Mega Man Gaming. Um, awesome videos, by the way. Um, sorry, it's like really freezing cold here in Wisconsin. I keep cracking my fingers. Um, glad you found a new job. That old job seemed like it really didn't work very well and didn't pay out. So um, glad you found something new that you like. Uh, Crazy Lance said, "What is your best reptile experience?" Uh, I don't know. There could be a lot. Um, honestly, the best reptile experience was when I was in fifth grade and uh, doing a lot of research on leopard geckos, and that's when I first got into the reptile hobby. And um, nearly 11 years later, I still have the same leopard gecko um, from many, many years ago. So I guess that's my best reptile experience was uh, getting my first reptile, and he's still alive to this day. All right, Google Wide Chihuahua says, I love hamsters, and yes, they are awesome. I love hamsters as well. We just got another male, and we uh, put them in a little um, pen to see if they would breed. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Uh, Geckos for life, uh, Noah Van Will. Hey, I got a whole bunch of RCs I found in a bin. Do you have any tips or such? Um, and I was a little confused by his comment, but... Um, I guess he said um, that he wants to get back into RC and he doesn't want to get rid of them. And they were gifts from to him from a long time ago. I would say just get new batteries for them and kind of just clean them up, brush off the dust, get some fresh batteries in there and just uh, have at it. <laughs> uh, that's really the best advice I can really give to you if you just found some RCs. Um, I, I guess it's like the nostalgia aspect. Like you just want to get them up and running. But um, yeah, I, I'd say get some batteries in there and go run them have fun um as for me i'm basically selling off all of my rcs i'm selling all the micros and i'll get to that in a second i'll just take care of these last comments all right dutch rc adventures howdy max aha lots of work coming up and that's a lot of money as well i guess good uh what camcorder are you looking at thanks for the shout out again cheers and have a good one um and I mentioned last week that I kind of wanted to save up for a new camcorder. Uh, my DSLR Canon um, that I sold off um, just wasn't what I wanted to use it for. wasn't, uh, I don't know, like, I just don't have the extra time to really devote to um, um, getting the focus in right. I'm very new at those kind of cameras. And um, 
Um, I just put in 50 hours this week, so um, plus we got a monthly bonus check, and we had our mandatory overtime added onto that check, so it was a nice one. Got my credit card bills taken care of, um, and I really don't know what kind of camcorder I want. I want like a higher end Sony Handycam. I have very good luck with Sony and their camcorders. Um, I don't think I would get a 4K one, not for a while anyway. That's I would consider that for when I really start making it big. Um, as of right now, we have 7,800 subscribers, so I thank everybody for that. Um, now let me get into um, what I said about selling my RCs. Um, I came to the realization that I don't run my RCs off camera. I don't do that at all. I don't charge up my batteries and just kind of put one in there. Um, I guess my hobbies change every couple of years now. However, I will stay in the RC hobby. It's just I'm not going to do as much. Like I, if I feel more fulfilled if I was to build an RC versus buy a kit and then review it. Because when you um, have RCs and there's something brand new on the market, like take the Lozy Kimura, basically. I'd have to be the first one to buy it, first one to spend the big money on it. And first one to unbox it, first one to review it, and then I get my views that way. Um, and after that, I really don't use them that much, and then I realize how much money I spend on them. So um, building them feels a lot more fulfilling to me. Um, I want to start building a couple of custom things. Um, I have a couple ideas for micros that I could build that are kind of top secret, not really giving any information out on that. But... um. And because I'm in an apartment, um, I don't want to riddle the whole apartment with a huge RC collection. Like, I want to keep my stuff very small and not too much. Um, also, I kind of want to put that money towards something else, something that could benefit um, both me and my girlfriend. And um, I want to get my dual monitor set up. I want to get some more RAM for my computer. Um, I just want to upgrade my system a little bit. Um, also, we want to get hedgehogs for breeding as well, and these RCs in my duffel bag just sit, and I don't use them. Um, and then I spend money on upgrades, and then I'll use it once or twice, never use it again. And as far as my animals, I have done everything I absolutely wanted to do with my reptiles. Um, I got rid of my toke, I got rid of my crested. Um, I just have my leopard gecko and two African fat-tailed geckos, and... There's really not much else I want to do with them and film for my reptiles because there's nothing that really changes, nothing new. Um, so I'm not going to do those videos as often. Now, I have really been neglecting my cartoon stuff and my two cartoon subscribers, and that seems to be a lot more views and revenue for me, so I will definitely continue to make those. It's just um, the only time I really have to do it is on the weekends, and on the weekends... I'm busy grocery shopping, doing errands and laundry and getting stuff shipped out if they need to. But anyway, no excuses. I have to get back into the swing of that. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope you guys are understanding of this and my little update here. And we'll see you again.